G'day. In today's video, I've got an Asus PN61 mini computer. And I want to open it up to see if there is a CMOS battery in there that can be replaced as the date and time is currently getting constantly reset each time as it says power going on and off all the time. So hopefully, I don't have to dig too far to find that. These are all standard Phillips head screws. Go. Yeah, which way is it going to go? Ah. So this is coming off. That side going down. Maybe a couple of screws here have to come out. No, that's just for the extra display port to live there. There's a hidden extra screw that I can feel. Nothing there. 120 gig MSATA SSD. Nothing under there. So it looks like the digging continues. this up okay get out of the way Connector here. Go. Next one down. Have the connections for the LEDs over here. dilemma is getting to the other side of the board. The 
Give me a slight gap here. Don't know if it's the removal of that that aided me just then. That was just a bit of hot luck. Bingo. And that's what I'm trying to get to. Two oh three two W. sleeve going on and these attached righto so I've prepared a replacement battery that one I've used my little my little spot welder to remove the pins off the old one put it onto the new battery so they're not going to go anywhere since taped it back up didn't have any large enough shrink uh, shrink wrap to put on there but that should be sufficient. So now we're looking back at this board. Here's a bit of an overview of the board in case you are interested. And we have this side of it. Teeny tiny little fan. In theory, I should be able to go battery. That's where we're gonna go. That way. Battery to there. I need to use some double sided tape to keep that stuck. So I'm merely doing this to replace the CMOS battery. I hope the teardown aspect of this has helped a few of you as well. Okay. We'll stay there. Just get this one floating around. It's fine. There we go. That way. That way. I think I'll go this side in first. Try and get it on the risers. So, next up, I've got to get those Wi Fi antennas out of the way. And over here, also. There we go, move that in. Hopefully, a bit of luck. And push this down. I'm going to twist it slightly. It's getting caught up here. Okay, that's back into its position. I'll connect up this front I.O. here. Push. I'm going to put that screw back in. Now, I did tear this down yesterday. In the video, it was just moments earlier. I'm going to have to get some more batteries. Okay. Connector attached. Button clicking. 
these guys need to push down just slightly. Go. Yep. Line up, that's fine there. Next one that I removed. Where are we? Are we? Wi Fi card. Mommy. Touch. Ooh. Down here. Line this up. Not these that put on here first. Then pivot around. Go over here. This one here can just click on to. Yeah, we're attached now. So with that attached, put that in. Next I will be going here. One of these. So I am just using a triple zero Phillips head screwdriver. It works just fine. Okay. I believe the next one I'm going to have to try and get, which is going to be a little bit trickier, is this little one, which goes to the SATA ports on the top. Which is the best way to feed it. I'm assuming this little tab here will go up. Like so. That seems to be opened. If you use a pair of tweezers, I should be able to feed this one in here. Attached. Now, if I flip this over, actually, before I add that back into the mix, put this one back in, which is a removable display port. Here, that should just slide in with the latch in the open position, it should slide in. Pull the latch down, they're attached. Next up, I want to put some screws back into here. Whoop. Go. Mommy. Should flip over. Go back here. And I'll need to put some screws to hold this one back in. Should be these black ones, I believe. This one over here too. Go. Two, three, four. I should tighten in. And what have I got left? I've got four screws remaining. So two for here, maybe two for there. I'll probably use the MVME screw. I'll use that one instead of here. 
I don't think that's really going to matter though. They're the same type of screw, just different colour. So overall, I'm just going to leave it. It's not worth the hassle of trying to unscrew that again. Ram, dim slot A, down the bottom there, done. Let's screw to here. This one go back into that one as well. Now I should be able to push this back into position here. That's how it clips in. No, no. This one will, will it? There we go. There, there. All screws are in. Cover needs to go back on. A uh, little bit of the clip clip on this side. Just line that up. Push down. That's good. It's a matter of trying to find how this one goes back on. Looks like it slides forward. Ah, I put my screws on slightly too early. That's okay. We'll be right. Preemptive attack. This should just be able to slide back, like so. Then we put these back in. This should be done. And that should be for me. I'll fire it up, set the date and time in the BIOS, and then we should be all sweet for this to go. Hope this helps with the teardown on your Zeus PN61. Just click, crunch, make sure your power button still functions. I'm gonna catch you later. Bye.